South Today has discovered that the personal details of thousands of NHS patients living in the Bournemouth and Poole area have been passed to a private healthcare company without their consent. Names, addresses and telephone numbers were supplied by NHS Bournemouth and Poole to a company called Enhanced Healthcare Solutions so that it could contact patients and offer them a free health check. Rachel Cantor has the story. Chris Scone Roberts received a phone call offering him a free check to see if he was at risk of a heart problem. It was obvious that she knew nothing about my medical history, but she knew enough to be able to phone me up with my, my name, my home phone number, my postcode, my date of birth, even my mobile number. So it was uh, worrying to say the least. These checks are part of a national programme. The government wants all primary care trusts to offer them to a fifth of adults aged between 40 and 74. NHS Bournemouth and Poole paid a private company to carry out the checks on its behalf. That's fine, but it didn't ask patients if it could pass on their contact details. So thousands of names, addresses, even mobile numbers were passed to a private company without patients knowing. There are very few people that you trust with your personal information, your bank, your mobile phone company and your doctor. And they've driven a coach and horses right the way through the, the law and it's just not acceptable. Chris referred the case to the Information Commissioner's Office. It said the trust had not acted fairly. People should have been informed by their GP before receiving the call and given the option of not being contacted. The reason for this is that even if their health data is not being processed, people would generally not expect to hear from an unknown company regarding health checks. And given the context and lack of information provided in that phone call, people could be concerned as to who has had access to their medical records. Well, Rachel joins me now. Rachel, what have NHS Bournemouth and Paul had to say about this? Well, Caroline, in a statement, it told us it welcomes the guidance and it wanted to stress that no medical information was shared. It went on to say it has robust policies and training in place around the use of its data. And it said health checks um, had been very successful and identified a significant number of patients who needed additional treatment. Now, the Information Commissioner's Office says it's now asked the Trust to demonstrate it's handling patients' data correctly and is deciding if any further action should be taken. Rachel, thank you. Murder, Mr. Hogan, yeah. The only thing missing.